Hey teachers! A quick reminder before we get started. You may need to pause or reverse the video occasionally so students can follow the step-by-step -step process. Please stay close to your video. Thank you! Hey guys, so today we're going to be creating a drawing that you could easily turn into a card. You're going to need pencil, eraser, and something to color with. I'm going to be drawing with a marker and I'm going to be starting by drawing a large letter U. So we're going to leave the tail off of the U and we're going to make sure that the U does not touch the sides of the paper. So not the right or left and not the top or bottom. Then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to turn it so that the bell of my U faces left. Then I'm going to make two parallel lines or a number 11. The first vertical line is going to touch both ends of my letter U to close that shape. And then I'm going to draw a line next to it that is parallel. That means two lines that run together, but they never touch each other. Then at the top of both of these lines to connect the shapes together, we are going to draw two curved lines to complete that shape. Now next to that shape, you're going to draw two curved lines that are going in towards the drawing. So the one at the top is going to bend down and the one at the bottom is going to bend up. Inside, you're going to draw a very lazy letter C and it's going to go from one corner to the other corner with the bump in the middle. Then I'm going to go back to my two curves that I did just a second ago. I'm going to draw an L. So I'm drawing the vertical line for the capital letter L. And what we're doing is the foot of the L, instead of being horizontal, is now going to be diagonal. And so I'm going to draw the vertical line of the L and then the diagonal foot, just like that. Then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to turn it the opposite way. So now the bell of my U faces to the right. And I'm going to draw another capital letter L, starting where I ended my other letter L. But this time the foot is going to be a diagonal line going up. So I will start with the vertical line of my capital letter L, drawing down and a little bit past my curved line. Then I will draw a diagonal line up to touch that curve to finish my letter L. Then I'm drawing another vertical line underneath my L's and two curved lines to complete the shape. Now turn it back right side up and you're going to draw two letter U's on top of the lazy letter C that we had. They're going to be really small and next to each other. Now inside of those U's at the top of each one, you're going to draw a pointy W. It's important that it's a pointy and not bumpy W. Then you're going to turn your drawing upside down and we're going to draw apparently our favorite letter for this drawing, a letter U. This one is going to be a little different than our first one and it's going to curve in a tiny bit next to those U's and W's we just drew and come back around. Now I'm going to draw two horizontal lines going through the center of my U. These are also going to be parallel, which means that they are not going to touch each other. Then I'm going to draw a letter V. And then I'm going to add a little line at the end of that and come back into my horizontal line for each of those sides of the V. Then Below my horizontal line, I'm going to draw a bumpy letter W, or it could look like the top of a heart. And I'm going to make sure that I touch the horizontal line. Then I'm going to draw a curved line like a circle around the bottom bell part of the U. 
Then I'm going to draw two lines connecting the W's to the horizontal line or the V. Now I'm going to turn the drawing so that the bell of the U faces to the left. I'm going to draw two letter O's inside of my bumpy W. I'm going to draw another small, lazy letter C in between the two of those. And I'm going to draw a V that's at a little bit of an angle with some curvy sides. Uh, then you're going to turn your paper and underneath the lazy letter C, you're going to draw a letter V, a normal one. And then off to the side of the body, you're just going to add another curvy V and some spiky lines at the top of the hat. So now you can see that we've got a cute little penguin inside a snow globe, and it's time for us to add some details. So you can see here that I'm adding some lines to add interest to my base of my snow globe, and then creating a couple of sort of wonky triangle trees and some bits of snow using dots and circles to show that some are closer and some are farther away. You would want to have some amount of snow inside of your snow globe since it's in the name. Then at the bottom, it's a little difficult to see this, but I'm adding a banner so that I can have a message. In case you wanted to use this as a card, you don't have to include this. It's just something a little bit extra. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.